the interior of a large conference room with several windows and many chairs and benches. A woman, approximately 40 to 45 years old, with long brown hair tied back, wearing a beige t-shirt and black pants, leather or imitation leather pumps with a sharp toe and a high, thick pin on the legs. In the video, the woman performs in a sitting position all the time. He usually sits in a position where the left leg is crossed over the right one. We can see that her right shoe is getting in the way and I occasionally take it off partially. Pushing the heel out of the shoe. Rarely do we see that the shoe hangs only on the toes. The sixth mass extinction of species has begun. Scientists are alarming Earth has entered the sixth mass extinction of species, scientists are alarming. The researchers said that this will have very serious ecological, economic and social consequences and that the world has about 20 to 30 years to face the crisis. Earth is currently experiencing an episode of population decline and extinction of species in their native habitats. This will have negative effects on the functioning of the ecosystem. We describe this as biological annihilation to underscore the current magnitude and importance of the sixth major species extinction. The researchers wrote in a paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. In this study, researchers from Stanford University and the National Autonomous University of Mexico analyzed the population trends of more than 27,000 vertebrate species, which accounts for about half of all known species of birds, mammals, amphibians and reptiles. In the work, the researchers focused more on mammals and made a thorough analysis of 177 species. Their results show that 50% of, of the number of animals that once shared the earth with us have already disappeared. In another 30% there was a significant decline in the population. In detailed studies of 117 species, it was found that most of them lost more than 40% of their biodiversity. Areas of their natural habitats in recent years and almost half have lost more than 80%. Areas of occurrence in the years 1900 to 2015. Among the endangered species are cheetahs, of which only 7,000 remained according to last year's figures. Orangutans from Borneo and Sumatra, of which less than 5,000 remained. Individuals or African lions, whose population fell by 43%. Since 1993, the rate of decline in animal and plant numbers is much faster than expected. Researchers believe that only focusing on protecting entire species can help. We emphasize that the sixth mass extinction of species has already begun, and the window for effective action is very short, most likely two or three decades, the researchers wrote. The main drivers of these losses are overpopulation and continued population growth, and overconsumption, the researchers pointed out. The serious warning from our work needs to be heard. Our civilization depends entirely on the plants, animals and microorganisms that live on Earth. They provide us with the ingredients necessary for survival. From pollination to providing food and maintaining a livable climate and air, said Professor Paul Ehrlich, co-author of the study. The resulting biological annihilation of species will of course have serious ecological, economic and social consequences. Humanity will ultimately pay a very high price for decimating the only known collection of life in the entire universe, added Ehrlich. Ehrlich also reminded that mass extinction is perceived as the loss of a specific species. However, its size is also important. For example, if we lose half of the population of birds or bats, which in turn control the population of pests in agricultural fields, we will not be able to obtain the same high productivity in agriculture.
explained the researcher. Mass extinctions of species have happened five times in the history of the world, but this one is starting much faster than the others. In the last hundred years, more than 200 species of vertebrates have disappeared from the face of the Earth. Researchers say that if the trend of the last five million years continue, such changes should last for at least 10,000 years. Years, not 100. Extinction should be something very unusual. When you can identify dozens of species that are extinct, or on the verge of extinction, it is a very unusual time in the history of the Earth and a very dangerous one at that, said Elizabeth Colbert. Author of the book, The Sixth Extinction, Unnatural History, for which she won the Pulitzer Prize. Two thousand mummified ram heads have been discovered in Egypt. Archaeologists have discovered a huge collection of mummified ram heads in the Temple of Ramesses II in the ancient city of Abydos. Scholars believe that the skulls were likely left as offerings to the pharaoh, suggesting that Ramesses II was worshipped a thousand years after his death. The severed and mummified heads of rams have been discovered in the temple of Ramesses II in Abydos, an ancient city less than 700 kilometers south of Cairo. This place was built in honor of the ruler who reigned between about 1279 BCE and 1213 BCE, discovered 150 years ago. The sanctuary was built after the death of the pharaoh. The temple is richly decorated with images of Osiris. He was a god famous for dying and then coming back to life. The impressive black stone arch is also noteworthy. The ram heads found were probably offered as an offering to Ramesses II. He was a beloved pharaoh who died about a thousand years before he was left with an unusual gift. A collection of skulls has been found by New York University researchers in a previously unknown ancient storage building in the northern part of the temple. Officials from the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities said on social media, some of the ram's heads are covered with bandages and have been partially preserved. But most are, there, skulls at the site. The team also found the remains of goats, dogs, cows, deer and an ostrich. All the animals were probably left around a thousand years after Ramesses II ruled Egypt. Scientists believe that it was intended as an offering to the revered king. Ramesses II is known for his extremely long reign, which lasted 66 years. Pharaoh expanded the ancient Egyptian empire and also maintained alliances with neighboring countries. Artwork depicting the ruler often shows him as a great warrior king. This is probably why he was so revered long after his death. However, historical records suggest that his military prowess may have been the work of ancient propaganda. The ministry also said that excavations at the temple revealed another previously unknown building that dates back to the 6th dynasty. She ruled Egypt from around 2323 BC to 2150 BCE. This period precedes the reign of Ramesses II by 1100 years. This previously unknown building has walls about 5 meters thick and contains many unusual artifacts, including statues, stone slabs, clothes, leather shoes, papyri and tree fragments. The new discovery will significantly contribute to rethinking the activities and architecture of the old state in Abydos, the ministry said. Deficiency of collagen in the body. Collagen is one of the most important proteins found in the body, performing key functions in maintaining the health and condition of our tissues and organs. It is found in the skin, joints, bones, 
muscles and other connective tissues, constituting their basic structural components. Unfortunately, many factors, such as improper diet, aging of the body or smoking, can lead to collagen deficiency, which in turn can result in various health problems. It is therefore worth paying attention to this important element of our body in taking care of its appropriate level to avoid undesirable consequences for our health. Collagen deficiency can have serious effects on our body, negatively affecting many of its functions. One of the most common symptoms of collagen deficiency are skin problems such as dry skin, flaccidity or the formation of wrinkles. Low levels of collagen can also lead to joint problems such as joint pain, stiffness and limited mobility, as well as an increased risk of fractures and osteoporosis. In addition, collagen deficiency can affect our digestive system, causing digestive difficulties as well as irritable bowel syndrome. That is why it is so important to take care of the appropriate level of collagen in our body and take action to prevent its deficiencies. There are many causes of collagen deficiency in our body. One of the main factors is the body's natural aging process, which causes a decrease in collagen production by skin, bone, joint and connective tissue cells. Another factor may be an improper diet. Pour in nutrients needed for collagen production, such as proteins, vitamin C, or zinc. Smoking cigarettes is another factor that negatively affects the level of collagen. Because the toxins contained in cigarette smoke damage collagen fibers and lead to their destruction. Exposure to UV radiation can also affect the level of collagen in the skin as UV rays cause DNA damage and lead to the destruction of collagen fibers. That is why it is so important to take care of a healthy lifestyle and avoid factors harmful to our body in order to prevent collagen deficiency and its effects. To prevent collagen deficiency and its negative effects, there are various ways that can be implemented in your daily diet and habits. One is to change your diet and introduce foods rich in collagen, such as meat, fish, eggs, as well as vegetables and fruits that contain vitamin C, which helps in the production of collagen. It is also worth considering collagen supplementation, which can provide the body with an additional dose of this protein. It is also important to avoid smoking, which accelerates the aging process of the body and destroys collagen. In addition, you should protect your skin from harmful UV radiation by using sunscreen creams and avoiding excessive sunbathing. Regular physical activity, such as strength training and cardio, can also help keep your bones and joints healthy and encourage your body to produce more collagen. Nowadays, when many people care about their health and beauty, it is worth remembering about the importance of collagen for the body. While collagen deficiency can lead to many health problems, there are ways to prevent this problem. Introducing foods rich in collagen into the diet, supplementation, avoiding smoking. Protection against UV radiation and regular physical activity are the key factors that will help maintain the appropriate level of collagen in the body. Therefore, it is worth taking care of your health to enjoy a young and beautiful appearance and well-being every day. Light-powered flying robot, weighing just 1.2 milligrams. The new robot called Fairy, for flying aero robots based on light responsive materials assembly, is the first flying robot based on soft materials that react to light. Thanks to its low weight, the robot easily rises into the air and can be powered and controlled by a light source such as a laser beam or LED. The development of responsive polymers has accelerated in recent years. Thanks to this, 
small, wirelessly controlled next-generation robots with soft bodies could be created. Previous projects have shown that these types of robots can move, jump and swim efficiently. Now Finnish researchers have gone even further and made robots fly. Researchers from the Light Robots Group at the University of Tampere developed the tiny robot as part of a project called Fairy Flying Aerorobots based on light responsive materials assembly, which was overseen by Hao Zheng and Jinfeng Yang. Our robot is better than its counterparts. We equipped it with a soft actuator made of a light-sensitive liquid crystal elastomer that works in response to light, explains Hao Zheng. The artificial, fairy, developed by Zheng and Yang has several unusual features. Due to its high porosity and lightness, it can easily float in the air. Its construction enables long-distance wind-assisted travel. Our robot can be powered and controlled by light, such as a laser or LED beam, says Zen. There is a level of robotic control as the shape of the flying machine can be adjusted to form a sail. However, it is a robot that cannot be directly controlled in the same way as, for example, a drone. The robot is made of bristles, and individual fibers are only 14 microns thick. The bristles are connected to a liquid crystal elastomer actuator that opens and closes in response to light. New research shows that light can be used to change the shape of the tiny dandelion seed-like structure that inspired the robot's creators. The robot fairy can adapt to the direction and strength of the wind by changing its shape. The light beam can also be used to control its takeoff and landing activities. Now the researchers want to focus on improving the sensitivity of the material, which will allow it to work in full sunlight. They also want to enlarge the entire structure so that it can carry microelectronic devices such as GPS, various sensors and biochemical compounds. According to Zeng, there is potential for many more applications. It sounds like science fiction. But experiments show that the robot we developed is an important step towards realistic solutions suitable for artificial pollination, for example, argues Zeng. In the future, millions of such tiny robots can be freely dispersed by the wind, and then, controlled by light, they would reach areas with plants waiting for pollination. This would have a huge impact on agriculture around the world. The loss of pollinators due to global warming has become a serious threat to biodiversity and food production, says Seng. However, many problems have to be solved first. Researchers do not know how to precisely control the landing site and how to reuse devices and make them biodegradable. This requires cooperation with researchers from many fields. Scientists have discovered an RNA component in samples from the Ryugu asteroid. Analysis of samples collected from the asteroid Ryugu by the Hayabusa 2 probe showed the presence of uracil, which is a component of RNA nucleotides. Vitamin B3 molecules were also found in the samples. These findings provide further evidence that important building blocks of life may have been delivered to Earth by meteorites. The early Earth was a very hostile place sometimes hot enough to tear apart the molecules necessary for life. This raises the obvious question, where did the building blocks of life come from as the planet cooled? The obvious answer is asteroids and comets. The idea that life, or rather its building blocks, exists in the cosmos and is distributed between planets, stars and even galaxies by asteroids, comets. Meteoroids and asteroids is called panspermia. However, the concept itself does not explain the origin of life. 
It talks about the possibility of it spreading around planets or galaxies by various objects in space. Add the origins of this concept can be found in the Greek philosopher, Anaxagoras. But its heyday with many variants falls on the 19th and 20th centuries. This hypothesis gained traction when some nitrogenous bases, which help form DNA and RNA, were found in meteorites. These chemicals are the building blocks of life. A study of dust delivered to our planet by the Japan Space Agency's JAXA Ayabusa 2 probe adds further evidence that the building blocks of life may have been at least partially delivered to Earth by asteroid bombardment early in Earth's history. In fact, similar finds have been reported before. Last year, during the analysis of three meteorites that hit the Earth years ago, scientists found the nitrogenous bases of the nucleotides from which DNA and RNA formed. Now, detailed analysis has shown that uracil, one of the pyrimidine nitrogenous bases that makes up RNA, a molecule that contains instructions for the construction and operation of living organisms, is present on the Ryugu asteroid. Niacin, also known as nicotinic acid, or vitamin B3, which plays an important role in the metabolism of living things, was also found in the samples. Behind the findings is an international team of scientists led by Professor Yasuhiro Oba of Hokkaido University. The results of the analyzers suggest that the building blocks of life, at least as we know it, can form in space and reach Earth using space rocks. Scientists have found nucleobases and vitamins in some carbon-rich meteorites before. But there has always been the issue of contamination by exposure to the Earth's environment, Ober explained. Since Hayabusa 2 collected two samples directly from the Ryugu asteroid and delivered them to Earth in sealed capsules, contamination can be ruled out, he added. The researchers extracted these molecules by immersing samples from Ryugu in hot water. They then used liquid chromatography techniques combined with high-resolution mass spectrometry. This revealed the presence of uracil and nicotinic acid, as well as other nitrogen-containing organic compounds. We found uracil in the samples in small amounts ranging from 6 to 32 parts per billion ppb while vitamin b3 was higher ranging from 49 to 99 ppb Ober explained other biological molecules were also found in the sample including amino acids amines and carboxylic acids which are found in proteins and metabolic processes he added the team hypothesized that the difference in concentrations in the two samples taken from different locations on the asteroid Ryugu is likely due to exposure to extreme environments in space. They also proposed a second hypothesis that nitrogen-containing compounds were at least partly formed from simpler molecules such as ammonia, formaldehyde and hydrogen cyanide. Although not detected in samples taken from Ryugu, they are known to be present in comet ice, and Ryugu may have formed as a comet, or as another body was present in low-temperature environments. The discovery of uracil in the Ryugu samples reinforces current theories about the origin of nucleobases on the early Earth, Ober concludes. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission will deliver samples from the Bennu asteroid this year. Comparative studies of the composition of these asteroids will provide further data to complement these theories. He added, the compounds detected are similar, but not identical, to compounds previously discovered in carbon-rich meteorites that have fallen to Earth. This suggests that biomolecules may be quite common in carbonaceous meteorites. 